Jeremiah Holmes carries in for the Appling County touchdown. Uh, as little as possible. I try not to mess them up. They, uh, it, it's a special group, and uh, you know, you know, because we've talked about it most of the year. They, uh, you know, they, they, there's such good leadership distributed, obviously in the senior class, but distributed throughout all four grades. And uh, you know, they, they just bought in, and you know, like I say, it's it's not sexy. It's not gonna uh, get uh, you know Mike Doolittle, Gene Cathcart, and uh, Tom Barker to a lot of speaking engagements at clinics. I took Coach Tomerlin told me he said he saw this same game in like 1980. Uh, but uh, you know, it fits our kids, it fits our toughness, our heart. They play with tremendous heart, uh, heart speed, and and uh, you know we always talk about player, 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 coach, coach, coach chemistry, and and this group certainly has that. Colby Clark tonight, man. He uh, it's kind of like don't tug on Superman's cape because it's exactly what happened <laughs> yeah. with him. He, he really set the tone in the second half for you guys. No question. And, and you know, uh, two of our war daddies, him and Cade McNally, just in, in the playoffs offensively, uh, you know, that fourth down. I tell you, Mike Doolittle did a great job. And Matt Stevenson, Ken Ray, Justin Meyer getting us in a good play. They had really sold out to what they thought we were going to do. And, and to their credit, uh, and Mike adjusted. And, and when, we, when we broke that line of scrimmage, you know, it, Colby wasn't going to be denied. So uh, that was huge. After Colby scored there in the third quarter, it seems like you guys really started wearing them down. They had some mistakes. You forced a grounding. Uh, you know, some right. On their side, uh, do you feel like you just, just won the game just I think so. It was just two two heavyweight boxers, you know, except they were probably a little more heavyweight than us. Uh, but we'll say we were a welterweight that just kept giving body blows. And, and, and you know, then you, you, you know how it is. They, they fell behind. They would rather be running the ball, and, and so they had to press and get out of their comfort zone. And, uh, and, and you know, then uh, I tell you, our defense, if you'd have told me at halftime, in fact, Coach Doolittle did tell me at halftime, if we get 
if we get four possessions or more, we'll, we'll win this football game. And, uh, you know, I think, I think we ended up with either four or five, four and a kneel maybe at the end. So uh, won the first half. Uh, but, you know, it's just one of those things. It's like like we've talked about before. It's it's not sexy. It's, you know, somebody told me our offense is about like watching paint dry. But boring and practicing over Thanksgiving is fine with, with us. Well, Coach, you got to go on the road, Chris County. Um, I don't know if you know anything about Chris County tonight, but I think it took care of North Hall pretty easily. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, I know that they. You know, a lot of folks. Uh, uh, your own Jeff Hart, for one, uh, very early when I told him not to look past the bracket, he chose to disregard what I say and look past the bracket. And so he was talking about this matchup a few weeks ago. And certainly we know that's a long road trip. And, and you know, but but what a great opportunity for our guys. You know, I think uh, this senior class has been in uh, in the Elite Eight maybe three of their four years or something. And, you know, last year with the aberration of injuries, you know, uh, uh, just, just really, like I say, just – Something special about practicing over Thanksgiving, you guys know that because you know high school football so well, but there's just a team's legacy of being able to practice over Thanksgiving is just a really special thing.